Mikel Arteta is reportedly an admirer of Wilfred Zaha and will go in for the Crystal Palace if the price is right. The Arsenal board secured his first trophy as a manager at Wembley, beating Chelsea 2-1 in the FA Cup final to ensure his side will be playing Europa League football. Qualification for the competition ensures Arsenal will have more funds to spend on transfers this summer. First they will be keen to ensure Pierre-Emerick Obama Yang stays and signs a new contract. He was coy on his future after scoring two goals to win Arsenal the game and insisted there was no news as to whether he'd be staying put. Should he depart, Arsenal will be in the market to bolster their forward options. As it stands, Obama Yang, Alexandra Lacazette and Nicolas Pepe are beginning to show signs that they can be a real force in the Premier League next season. The Gabon International hit 29 goals in all competitions this season and those would be big boots to fill should he decide to move on to a new challenge. According to the Daily Star, Artitu is an admirer of Zaha, who would provide the Gunners with extra quality and invention going forward. He would cost around £50 million this season summer with his price tag reduced due to the coronavirus crisis. Zaha is keen to move on and experience European football after devoting his career to boyhood club Palace. Arsenal tried to sign him last summer before the board turned attentions to Nicolas Pepe after the Eagles demanded £80 million. Anai Emery wanted to bring Zaha to North London after meeting with the player but he was instead handed his second choice target, Pepe, who had a slow start to life in England. He's a good player but we didn't know his character and he needs time, patience, Emery told The Guardian. I favoured someone who knew the league and wouldn't need to adapt. Zaha won games on his own, Tottenham, Manchester City, us. Incredible performances. I told them, this is the player I know and want. I met Suha and he wanted to come. The club decided Pepe was one for the future. I said, yes, but we need to win now and this lad wins games. He beat us on his own. In an exclusive interview with Express Sport back in December, Zaha admitted the collapse of the deal affected his mental state but now he could be handed the chance to earn a move to the team he supported growing up. He said, as you get older you grow a thicker skin. You realize that you can only control the things you can control. That's why I'm back to enjoying my football again. What happened in the summer did affect me. When the season started it was still in my head. But after a while I told myself that I have got to get over it. Going around sulking is not going to help. I told myself I can't be like that. The team has not disrespected me, or the club, or the fans. So they don't deserve me disrespecting them.